Hey there boys and girls, welcome back to Back Pocket Game Reviews, and today we're going to recap Nintendo Pokemon Direct that happened today. As in, what is today? Wednesday? Thursday? Today's Thursday. Uh, so it's Thursday, January 9th, and there was a Pokemon Direct today. and was, well, a 20 minute long Pokemon Direct, which is actually relatively short for like the Nintendo Direct stuff. Um, but I am a huge fan of the Nintendo Directs. I absolutely love that they're that transparent and constantly up to date with stuff that's going on. That's just sort of how they let you know. And it's nice in today's media era, because it doesn't really make sense to have, like, it's kind of why E3 is dying, is a lot of these companies can very easily communicate with you, the fan. And there are a couple of big announcements today. Actually, there's one big announcement, and... Some of you may find the other one relatively big, but there is a new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. That's the one that I don't find necessarily all that big. Yeah, it's a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. There hasn't been one in a really long time, so I'm sure there are people out there that are pretty hyped about it. Um, I know there were a bunch of memes the second it was announced saying, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fans just waiting for a new Mystery Dungeon. Well, you finally got it. Here you go, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. But... But the bigger news was the DLC coming to Pokemon Sword and Shield. And you might ask yourself, DLC? Yeah, so usually Pokemon doesn't release DLC, so to speak. They have, like, your mystery gifts where you can go into, like, different Pokemon. Like, you can go into Best Buy and get a different Pokemon. Or you can go to GameStop. Or then they release the Ultra versions, which has a little bit of stuff that they updated. But you have to buy a whole other game for that. Whereas here, now they're like, here's some DLC, and we're not doing an Ultra version this time. So rather than having to go out and buy a whole other $60 game to get the complete version of Pokemon and play everything that they intended in that version, and I shouldn't say intended because it is stuff that they do after the initial launch, um, but this, this time they're just releasing it as a separate standalone DLC for $30. Um, it is pre-orderable now, and you get two new outfits out of it. <coughs> and I get it to a lot of people that's not huge news but this is bringing new Pokemon new areas into there alongside of new story content so you're gonna have these new areas with new pieces to the story alongside of well new Pokemon I mean they showed off a Galarian region slowpoke don't don't get super excited kids slowpoke uh, upgrade them to slow bro there's a item that you need from one of the islands inside of the new DLC um, so I just thought it was a very interesting way for them to evolve this and Nintendo is kind of known for being more fan centric so they try not to do things that are to let us screw you over so to speak um, I, and they haven't really had a way to do like a, instead of let's do an ultra let's do a full DLC expansion and this is the first time that they're really jumping into that with Pokemon they did it this time with Zelda So Breath of the Wild had an expansion pass. They are even adding more multiplayer Luigi's Mansion stuff with the expansion pass for that um, So DLC is something that Nintendo's just starting to get into and well, I I'm not really Overwhelmingly bothered by that. I get some people absolutely hate downloadable content but I'd rather this than having to go out and buy a whole nother game just to experience this extra bit of content. I would rather them just push it out as a cheaper DLC rather than a full-priced game. So I find this to be very consumer-friendly to an extent, and I think it was a smart move on Nintendo's behalf because, well, once people start to lose interest in Pokemon, here is new content to bring you back into Pokemon. And Sword and Shield were great games. I have no issues with the way those games were done. I found them to be fantastic entries into the Pokemon universe. And that's coming from someone who specifically disliked Sun and Moon. So I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about today's Pokemon Direct. Do you feel this is a better option than releasing the Ultra versions of the games? Do you think this is consumer friendly or at least more consumer friendly than the old route? I'm curious to what your thoughts on it are. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a thumbs up. Also, you can click the subscribe button down below and click the little bell. <coughs> Sorry, I still have a cough. You can click the little bell, and it should let you know when I upload new content. And I'll have plenty more coming for you. If you want to follow me anywhere else, links are as always in the description box down below. And I'll see you guys soon with plenty more content.